open the tower. This is the only way through. If I lay down cover, can you move up on him? That's anyone's guess. Go, Max! Move to the tomb! Don't let them draw you out! You okay? Sure. Right up to the moment my head gets blown off. We gotta move again. I'll give you cover. Wait on me! Get behind that thing! Be careful, man! Shoot! Come on! Shoot! I'm gonna kill ya! Okay, I'm gonna cover you again. See if you can flank him. Get a shot! Run! Duck! Flank! Easy orders to give when you're way behind the front line. Windows coming up. Great. Thank you, man. To the left. Supposed to what? Disco dance? Shut the fuck up, half cast. Turn around. Turn around. Move. Move. Hold it. You killed my son. You killed my fucking son. My boy. My only son. Listen, I'm sorry. Fuck you! Sorry for your loss. But your son was killed in gun battle. A battle he started. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No! Fuck you! You killed my son! You fucking spit! Ow! You killed my son! Dig! No! I have to admit, I almost felt bad for the guy. Dig! Sure, he had lived a bad life. But I, of all people, knew that living with this grief would be payment enough for any sins. Still, perhaps not so bad that I was prepared to dig my own grave and let these goombas kill me without even getting some dirt on their hands. Your body ain't gonna bury itself. Dig, motherfucker!
how appropriate. Take that contract out of my head, bro. Hey, Psst. this way. Up there. Go on. Go, go, go. You can go first. Yeah, my gentleman, thank you. This place looks about as good as any to make a stand. At least the coroner won't have to go far to go to work. Uh, like I said, Paso's always had a good sense of humor. We gotta find a phone. I got a connection in Queens who can help us. Huh. All right. Spread out! And clear every room before you move on. We don't want to miss these damn fools. Our SOS was gonna have to wait. Find that phone. Make a call. There's gotta be a landline in that office, man. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. Call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, the things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mob after us. Uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out I don't speak your fucking language? That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I see.
It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful night from the stadium, the docks, I'd been given enough chances to make this right, and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. I knew this was all my fault, and there was only one way I dealt with guilt. didn't seem too concerned with meeting their arrest quotas. Between me and Sao Paulo's finest, it'd be a miracle if the CS were still in business by the end of the day. The place was swarming with cops. They weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcelo and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcella were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. These raids, Rena thugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. Then it was fair game, as I was about to find out. 